We got some time to kill before we get things going for this little hype video shoot that we're doing. So I'm gonna give you all a little tour of the new Washington Commanders team store. When you enter, you see the mannequins with the official, the official, official game uniforms with the patch on it. You see the helmet, you see the pants combo and everything close up. You see everything out here but the black. You see Kendall Fuller, <clears throat> trash. Taylor Heineke, shit, we might be seeing him soon. This guy, Carson, been very disappointing. Shit, they might as well throw a Sam Howell mannequin up here soon. They got graphics in here. First thing I notice is the store is much more modern than it used to look. Like this looks like we're, jo we're in Georgetown at a Nike store or like a real Nike factory store. Just walk around for a little bit. They got shirts commemorating the inaugural game. The last time we won, felt like it was like five years ago at this point. A lot of 90th anniversary patch things, hoodies, t-shirts, some banners. They got the 90th anniversary commemorative ball to get signatures and stuff on, koozies. This whole section is pretty much 90th anniversary things. We got some Pride Month stuff for the community. You know, Fanatics branded, the store is Fanatic. There goes the Jason special polo. I love these white shorts, but these shits cost damn near the price of a jersey just to wear some shorts. I just caught me some hoochies off of Amazon. Good graphics. Say, how you doing? How you doing? Hello. More graphics over here. Some pom-poms, some stuff for the kids and some foam fingers for the game. Let's move it over here to some hats. They got the graphics and they got the command center running on brand. Got some crucial catch gear going with the pink hats. I really like this design they're doing with the Commanders NFC. The whole league has a whole thing going on. Those are the new sideline hats for the season. There goes your boy. I'm ugly, so let's get out of let's get out of the frame. We got another full size mannequin over here. Double zero, generic player. We might need to break him out the glass so he can play for us because it's been pretty bad so far. I'm gonna walk it over here. We got some retro throwback type stuff over here. There go Han Solo. We're gonna miss you for these next couple weeks. Been the best receiver on this team so far. Some of the retro gear. The Grambling Gun, Doug Williams, Hell Victory. Super Bowl shirts, just some old school looking stuff. They got the Scary Terry shirt, the Blitz. I don't know if y'all know about the game Blitz, but that was the most foul, fun, and flagrant football game there was. Loved it. Got the throwbacks, Dell Green, Theismann, Dougie Doug, Rigo, who kind of hates the team right now, but we ain't gonna go there. We got the throw, oh, the most beautiful throwbacks the team owns right there with the Randall L jersey. I don't know why they got a Randall L one out here. Captain Chaos Cooley. Oh, there it go. That boy Santana, that joint's beautiful. A lot of signature gear. And here goes the jerseys. Most of them replica. They got Jahan, Carson, Gibson, McLaurin. I don't know what these gray jerseys are. They're interesting. I guess there's, no, they're not salute the service. I'm not sure what they are. Here's a close-up look at the white ones. This is the replica. These aren't the stitch ones. I'll show you what the Vapor ones look like. These are the Vapor Elite ones right here, where they have like stitching on the number and everything and the detail. They're not the authentic ones, the $300 ones, the ones that I like to wear, but the quality on the Vapors is way better than the replicas. The replicas are pretty much like a $130 t-shirt. It's not my style. Chase Young jerseys galore. We need to get that boy back on the field immediately. Let's see what else we got in here. Just giving y'all a full tour of what's going on here. Lots of memories and history being commemorated around the store. The kids section looks pretty popping. Looks like there's a good selection for all kid sizes, kids and women sizes cozy, comfy stuff for the females. I even got stuff for the little babies. Look at the little baby jersey. So cute, so cute. Got some footballs. Oh, we got some lanyards. I may need to cop one of these while I'm in here. 
these are the, ooh, this is the one I had my eyes on, but the one I was looking for was a little more black than this one. I need all the black gear. Whenever the black stuff gets in here, I'm probably come out here and buy it all up. Phone cases, cups, tumblers, some Halloween stuff. There's the women's section. I know they, the women have been saying for a long time they need to upgrade their, <laughs> they got little women's Uggs. <laughs> women's jerseys. Nothing too exciting, but definitely a significant upgrade from what the store used to be. Lots of branding everywhere you go. They got the little designer clutches, the little commander's designer clutches, you know. Else we got some more stuff for the ladies. I love it. The, tour, the store overall looks good. It's aesthetically considerably better than it used to be. But yeah, that's about it. I was just giving y'all a little, a little tour. Let me see what these mini helmets and stuff up front look like. Some mini helmets. The black ones don't have numbers on them. I kind of hate that, but it's still kind of fly, you know. And that is a tour of that is a tour of the new Washington Commanders team store. And hope y'all appreciated the view. You know, I had the store to myself, so I figured, why not? Until next time, hail to the commanders, deuces.